You always want to be a beta tester for slicing software. Here is your chance. Today, I'm going to show you how you can get the Prusa Slicer 2.2.0 Alpha 2 beta test. Coming up on Sakri 3D Prints. Hello, this is Zachary from Zachary 3D Prints, bringing you how to reviews and many other cool things you can do with 3D printing. If you're new to the channel and not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. I got also some social media uh, links. I will put them in the description of this video. Uh, if you want to support this channel, feel free to support my channel. I will put the Patreon link also in the description of this video. So like I mentioned in the intro, today we are going to download, install and use the new Prusa Slicer 2.2.0 Alpha 2 <laughs> beta version of Prusa's newest slicing software. A week ago or two weeks ago I got an email from Prusa mentioning it that there is a new software coming up. And I want to test this one out as well as I did a few months ago with the other Prusa beta test. What's specifically special on this version, it supports more filament, but it also supports more 3D printers. One of them is the Ender 3 Pro. The one that I'm using, well, it's they, they are supporting the Ender 3, but is equal to the Ender 3 Pro as well. So for now I'm going to install the newest software. So like you uh, see I'm on the github.com Prusa 3D Prusa Slicer releases. This is the Alpha 2.2.0 Alpha 2 download version. Well let's uh, download it. Well there are several I'm using a MacBook, so I can use the DMG extension here. Yeah. But you can also take the zip file or some other files. I also uh, saw something mentioning it that it is also uh, usable for uh, Linux users. So if you are a Mac user, Windows user or Linux user, you can find the right uh, download for this slicing software. Uh, this is already the Alpha 2 version. There are some uh, some issues that are fixed. It, uh, fixed. Uh, I downloaded my version yesterday, so I should have the Alpha 2 version. Uh, but then you can click on it here, and then it will download uh, download from the internet, and then you're going to install it. So. I'm also going to click on it again, then save, and then we click on uh, on open. So now it's opening for for the Mac Prusa Slicer, and then we double click on it. Then you get the uh, the warning. Well, we say not again. Open. So this is the Prusa Slicer 2.2 Alpha 2 beta version. Welcome to the Prusa Slicer configuration assistance. So we're going to go to next. Well, of course, it's Prusa slicing software, so uh, all Prusa uh, 3D printers are in it. I also saw something uh, written about the, uh, the the Raisin 3D printers. Well, I don't have one at this moment yet, but maybe in the future my channel is also going to do some uh, Raisin 3D prints. So 
mm, I don't know when it's going to come, but I have some plans to do to also work on that. Other vendors and and specifically Creality. And I'm very happy with that. Here, this is this is my Ender Ender 3. I do have the Ender 3 Pro. I'm looking here and I see that it's the normal Ender, but the yeah, the specifications would be almost the same for the Pro or the normal 3. So let's install this one next. I can also custom print setup. Then we go to next. And then you have different kind of filament profile that you can select. It was in, in, in the other versions in the normal uh, softwares that uh, this one you can select different kind of filaments ABS, SAR, uh, also nyl and nylon, PGG, PLA and you got from different kind of vendors Creality or generic, uh, Prusa, uh, also Amazon basics are in it um, Hatchbox also one of the more common use and um, made for Prusa uh, for for me I'm using ferrite filament uh, that, that one is not supported at this moment but I'm still going to use the generic just select it and then next is there any other thing yeah automatic updates always check that box if you like that if not then just deselect it and then next you can always select in three different modes you got the simple mode the advanced mode and the expert mode well i'm just taking the advanced mode then we click on finish like you can see this is the, yeah this, this is very uh, very funny because i selected oh this is oh this is for the original prusa mini I also want to buy that one, but hey, I need to wait. Well, we are going to, in the menu, we are going to the Ender 3. And let's see what happens. Look at that. You got the the, the plotter of the Ender 3. That's so cool. Thank you, Prusa, for adding this little detail thing. Yeah, thing. <laughs> Sorry. Um, for this occasion i'm going to do a model a gameplay model and in this case it's going to be sonic the hedgehog and i'm going to the files and then we got different kind of ones um, let's take that one that's the base yeah well on my um on my macbook i can see which kind of parts that are in that's easy. Well, let's take the whole model. Okay, so I opened the file and see what happened. It's just on the side. Just like this. Well, it shouldn't be any problem because uh, Prusa Slicing software has some cool features and one of them is this one. You click on the surface and then boom, there you go. Now we are going to scale this version up a little bit. And we are going to use the scale. And if you like to use some hotkeys, the S is the hotkey for that. Now we are going to raise it up a little bit. But you can all, I can use the, the blocks. It's very good to use, but I also want to mention that you can also use the scale that is on the right corner. Um, this is 100%, so let's make this a 400% and see what happens. So the figure is in all directions scaled to 400%. Wait, just. No. 
also cool to see the the frame of the hot uh, hot bed. As you can see, this is exactly the same. This cool feature. Thanks again for that, uh, Prusa. Um, I want to scale it up. That's still a little bit small. Let's make this a thousand percent. So. Something like this. This would be very cool. I want to print it as big as possible. Um, here's the size. Let's make there this 2000. Whoa, okay, now it's too, too big. Just go to there. I like the stand, but I think there is too much. So I'm going to do something with it. I'm going to I'm going to use the cut tool for that and I'm going to say well just put the cut here okay keep the upper part something like this for fun cut and now you see that the model doesn't have this big huge stand so I'm going to check if I can scale it a bit more well I see that the the scale factors are still at 100% again but 100 was a small one so make it 150 so I see that they are I'm, I'm at 21 centimeters so I'm going to scale it down just a bit 130% something like this um, having the infill of 20%, layer height is 0.12 detail. For this kind of model, it's going to be very detailed. So I'm going to do a bit more than just 3D printing this model. I also have some plans to paint this model. But that I will leave for another video. So now we are going to slice it and see how it is going to turn out. Of course, it takes some time and just see how it's going to be. I'm printing this with no supports. So we are going to change that, of course. And now we can check how it is going to look like. Of course, supports need to be removed, but I think that th this is looking fine. So let's export the STL file into a G-code file on my desktop. I want to save it there because in a later stadium, I'm going to slice it, if I put the file onto my SD card and I'm going to 3D print it. This is going to be a print of two days, <laughs> 11 hours and 20 minutes. So it's going to be, yeah, a very long print, but hey, 3D printing is fun to do. It's a nice thing to do. And as you can see, this is <laughs> awesome 3D printing slicing software. So let's wrap up this video. As you could see, it's an easy to use and easy to install beta test of Prusa Slicer 2.2.0 Alpha 2 version. Maybe in the future there are some other Alpha uh, betas released. So maybe you should check those ones out because there are some issues that are solved. And then you, as you could also see, from Alpha 1 came Alpha 2 with some fixes. It's a beta test. You can, as you test it, if you run, a, run into some issues or there are some uh, system hangs or crashes even that, you can report them to Prusa Research. All links are in the, uh, the, the GitHub site. So if you see something that is not right, 
for is broken or not working properly you can always report them using that site so that is very cool and you also are working on a new piece of software that's going to be published for the masses beta tests are beta tests and if you want to test something like this out go ahead and help people of prusa to develop even better software so that being said thanks for watching please like this video subscribe to zachary 3d prints and i will see you next time happy 3d printing happy new year because this video is going to be released as first video of 2020 that being said i will see you next time and happy 3d printing zachary 3d prints bye bye peace so like you can see using a beta test can be a lot of fun you got a sneak preview like i mentioned in the beginning of this video if something is wrong you can always use the github site to report those kind of bugs issues scratches or different other kind of things that is wrong with these tests as you can see new releases are going to be published on the github so now you have alpha 2 but later on it can be an alpha 3 or an alpha 4 i don't know but that's the cool thing of beta testing some new slicing software new products prusa is doing a great job about that trying to get as many pop people in to test these kind of slicing softwares one very positive thing is that the ender 3 is supported by prusa and that's a cool thing about 3d printing it's a big community people like to gather together with this kind of creativity things so that being said thanks for watching please like this video subscribe to zachary 3d prints happy 3d printing happy new year because this video is going to be the first video of my zachary 3d printing channel in 2020 that that's being said thanks for watching and i'll see you next time peace bye bye